What's cracking everybody? It's Herfalt Rose here bringing you some Pokemon Go Battle League content. Today's video, we're looking at an awesome shoutcast of a team that went 27-8 and eight in the Great League Remix with Frostless Double Water. This trainer went on an absolute tear, and I appreciate them sending in these battles. Thank you, Spooky Mafia 91 for sending in the battles. Trainers, if you'd like to send in battles for shoutcast, there is a link in the pinned comment and description where you can find that Google form to send in the battles. Let's get into these games here. I'm very excited to see because Frostlass is something that I have also been playing around with recently, and it's been very good in this meta. And speaking of things that have been in this meta, there's a card bank, and that's not a good lead. So in comes Superior. All right, we're off to hard counter starts here in this first game. Opponent's gonna go for the Aerial Ace on five as that was not enough for a Frenzy Plant. And they only need to go for the Aerial Ace. The Polyrath is going to shield to get the Icy Wind off now. It's gonna come down to whether or not this trainer knows they can win the twos or not. I don't know if you can, especially because the uh, the opponent, if they go for the Aerial Aces here, I don't know if they're gonna be able to flip this. Now they could go for Frenzy Plant, and they do! That's gonna do a ton of damage to the Polyrath. But now Polyrath is gonna go down, but leaves behind an Icy Wind debuff for Frostlass. So that Frostlass, she does not have to uh, worry about eating a Frenzy Plant. Can fully farm down here, and you just have to hope that this energy is gonna go somewhere into this carving here. Now they're gonna go immediately into the Empoleon, and in comes a Shadow uh, Sableye here. Now here's the here's the huge thing about this is because the Empoleon is now one move ahead from that swap in, they're going to be able to get to the double Hydro Cannons here before the opponent's Sableye should be able to reach a second foul play, and that should mean that they're going to be able to get switched. The opponent deciding not to shield? What is... Huh? How do you not shield that? I'm confused. Do they just give up? Do they know they lose? Carpink is not by any means an answer to this. Okay, hold on a minute. We might be they might be cooking. Hold on. All right, Rock Slide from the Carpink gonna do enough. But these two moves, this should be two moves. This should be an Avalanche or two Shadow Ball. An Avalanche plus Shadow Ball or two Shadow Balls. This Avalanche is gonna do plenty of damage here to knock out. And even though Rock is super effective against Ice, Ice is neutral into Rock. It's gonna do enough to take out the Carpink. It's a good first game here. Well played. Getting into the next battle, we got Frostlass on the lead versus Superior, and that is not a Water-type Avalanche trainer. Avalanche is, is most certainly an Ice-type here. Now, the opponent comes in with that Dugong, and they are going to be met by this Polyrath, and that is going to be quite painful. As Polyrath, um, even, well, Shadow Polyrath actually does quite a bit better than, uh, quite a bit worse in here in this match, in my opinion, than the normal one. Um, just for the simple fact that, uh, that's, that, that damage from, from Drill Run... Yeah, that does almost half, if not more. I also realized that uh, we have the wrong uh, icon on the uh, Hydro Cannon on Napoleon. You can tell I was uh, not 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 fact-checking myself here. But Polyrath is going to be able to land a Icy Wind or get a shield off of the Superior here, which is going to be very nice for it and setting up the rest of this game. Almost able to reach a second one. Very close here. And uh, you can see my, <laughs> my overlay process live on video here. I'm not afraid to show it. We get the right icon in there. Now everybody knows it's a legacy move and we're off to the races. The opponent's going to be able to... Oh, they're coming in with the car bank and the Empoleon says, Nay, you stinky binky, you get out of my house. And the opponent concedes immediately. That's a good game. Get out of my house. Feral Thorn on the lead in the next game. This could go very well or not very well, depending on the second move on that Feral Thorn. If they're running Flash Cannon, then that could definitely spell doom for Frostlass, but the opponent throws a move without even bothering to throw up or go up to it. They're just going straight Mirror Shot in this matchup, and they get a debuff, and that's got to feel bad. Now, the opponent going for another Mirror Shot here. Knowing how much damage this Mirror Shot does, the uh, trainer decides to bank the energy. <laughs> it's a Grand Bull! Oh, at least they get the Scald off here before going down. The one good thing for Polyrath here is it's going to be able to net a free shield from this. And now, uh, you just, yeah, you just come, oh, Empoleon is ripping this thing in half, man. Empoleon going to be able to take down the Shadow Grand Bull. A loaded Frostlass in the back. Going for this Drill Pack here into the opponent's Feral Thorn. This is going to do quite a considerable amount of damage. Shadow Empoleon in this meta is absolutely insane, by the way. It does so much damage. It's just very glassy, and it's very alignment dependent. Baiting with the mirror shot. Oh, and they over farm by one too many. The opponent's able to get to another move. Is it a mirror shot? Oh my goodness, it's the mirror shots all over again. If y'all remember, there was a... Um, oh, and they catch on Ninetales. They try to catch the move. That's not good. 
Man, that's going to do a lot of damage and easily going to knock out with two Steel Wings here. Going to be able to take out the Feral Thorn or get a shield. And we're going for uh, we're going for Hydro Cannon into the uh, into the Feral Thorn. But it's enough damage, so we take those. We take those. Good game. 3-0 in this set so far. Getting into the next game, we got Frostless into an Origin Form Giratina, one of my personal favorite Pokemon to use in the Great League uh, formats here. And we're going to be able to get to these moves, but unfortunately, we're making... We're not making it to the uh, CAP charge attack priority on this one. Going to tank that ominous wind. And the opponent just boosted out of nowhere as well. Looking to get... Oh, man. that's that's That sucks. Going to just get farmed down here. And Polion's going to have to come in. This is already looking like an uphill battle. As the opponent is boosted off the ominous wind. And all they have, now they can just easily just go for ominous winds. They don't even have to send shadow balls. And no, no second boost, thankfully. Uh, but it does appear as though both shields are going to have to be put down, and we're just praying at this point that Polyrath can deal with whatever's in the back. Hopefully, this Empoleon can get a farm down here on this uh, Giratina Origin. Frostlast did its job, got the shield, and the opponent is now going to get farmed down. Polyrath comes in to get ahead on energy, and that one Shadow Claw did a lot of damage. The opponent now has a Feral Thorn. This is not looking good here. As one of these, um, one of these Power Whips is going to be enough to just knock this poor Polyrath flat on its rear end. The opponent is going to eat this Icy Wind. That's a very nicely timed CAP tie. Cap tie. I don't even know what to call it, man. I'm trying to get it to roll off the tongue. But... In comes Empoleon. This could go okay, depending on if we can get one move. Is the Shadow on Shadow? Is this Hydro going to be enough to knock out? That's the question. It's resisted, but Empoleon is not. Oh, it's not going to do enough damage, unfortunately. And the opponent got to the CAP tie. That's going to take out this Empoleon, and that's going to be a good game. Taking a loss, but very close. Very tough game, too. Getting into the next battle here, we are going to have Empoleon on the lead here against this Frostlass. Frostlass not having a good time in this matchup. Polyrath is immediately going to come in and try to get a head on energy here. A Molga here, a spicy pick here in this Remix Cup, looking to go for the discharge against this Polyrath. I love the fact that a Molga just... Every time I tried to use an electric, I just ended up getting it aligned to Steelix. It just felt so bad. I just haven't used them since. But getting in, a, uh, getting an attack drop here is very nice. Emolga, as an electric type, is going to be able to win charge attack priority here. But um, the oh, they go in full set acrobatics as well. That was I was not expecting. Perhaps the opponent knows the discharge might not have been enough from that health range. And now it's going to be up to the opponent's Emolga. Are they going to be able to get to another discharge here? Yeah, they're going to get to the discharge. It's definitely going to be enough damage here. But Frostlass now has a very, very good opportunity to... Oh, they get to the Acrobatics. That's going to be a lot of damage. But now Frostlass has an opportunity to farm down. And if anybody here was wondering, Frostlass with an energy lead is absolutely destructive in any meta that it's ever allowed in. So we're going to see the Shadow Ball do a ton of damage and an immediate pivot into the Empoleon and Gligar's in the back to eat this Hydro Cannon to the face. I got the button ready. You know it. I know it. This is going to one-shot. Gligar gets taken down, and the opponent would not be able to get to two Hydro Cannons in the time it would take, so very good game here. Very nice 4-1 set. Just part of the grander 28-7 and run that Spooky Mafia had with this team. Very fun team. Very fast-paced, glass cannon sort of team. I like this style of play in this meta. I've had a good amount of success with, you know, opting to forego the bulky picks for more high damage, high risk, high reward Pokemon, just like this team here. Love it a lot. Really nice games here. Thank you again for submitting the tra uh, Battles Trainer, and, and congratulations on the amazing run with this team. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.